Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jesse and you're watching MMA, Mexican Martial Arts. Today we're going to be talking about MBJJ and one of the reasons why it's a lot better than regular BJJ. This is my primo Flaco. He doesn't look like he has a lot to offer as a martial artist and he's not that smart. Regular BJJ was one of the most effective martial arts on the planet right behind karate, kung fu, judo, Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Krav Maga, Thai Bo, Punching, that fool Royce Gracie dominated UFC 1 and 2, but he had to drop out of the third one because Kimo let him know what's up by using his own moves against him. So it was almost like he was fighting himself, you know? And when that happens, even if you win, you lose. If we'll write that down. Regular BJJ was a lot more dangerous when it had the element of surprise. When you score up with this fool, he's expecting a push. He's expecting a punch. He's even expecting a kick. But then all of a sudden, the Gracies roll up and it's like, And then after that, everybody wanted to learn, and the McDojo was born. Everybody knows that one of the fastest ways to get popular is by doing challenges. The fidget spinner challenge, the what's in the box challenge, cinnamon challenge. So they came up with the Gracie challenge, and they will go to different dojos, churches, little league events, and just start fighting with anybody. And they didn't even have to worry about the cops, because on the Gracie's fight, it doesn't actually look like they're fighting. It looks more like, it's the public displays of affection. And the Gracies kept winning the challenges because nobody knew how to defend against BJJ. So the Gracies were like, oh, let me show you. Let me show you. You are really dumb. The first difference between Mexicans and Brazilians is that Mexicans know how to keep their mouth shut. The second difference, I can't tell you. It wasn't long until the Gracies realized that they messed up and they went into hiding. It's like when my tío Beto was on channel 47 for talking about the West Side Tres Leches and we still haven't seen him. Hello darkness my old friend. So this fool named Kuzushi Sakuraba went on a mission to find him. They called him the Gracie Hunter. Eventually, he found three of them in the wilderness and he beat all of them. <laughs> and one of them was Royce Gracie because that fool exposed himself and his whole family for the money. They were like the first Kardashian. You are so ridiculous. Life changes. No, you're ridiculous. No, seriously, you're yeah. so ridiculous. The biggest difference between BJJ and MBJJ is the secrecy. I'm about to put Flaco in one of our most lethal submissions. And step one is darkness. All right, fool, get on my back. Roll over. Open your legs. Hey, fool, not like that. Hey, can somebody turn on the lights? I can't clap right now. All right, as you can see, this move is deadly, humiliating for the opponent, and it feels kind of like a massage. But the most important thing is that you're never gonna learn it. So you can watch any MBJJ video and you'll walk away having learned nothing. If you don't believe me, then you can watch my other video on MBJJ. And there's gonna be more, so if you wanna subscribe or whatever. Thank you for watching Mexican Martial Arts. Appreciate it. Good looking out. Late.